Playing games every day. Get set to watch Zemvius. G'day all, I'm Zenvius, and we are playing The Guardians of the Galaxy. Episode 3 has just come out and we're going to get straight into it. Let's get things rolling. It has been a while since I've played this game and I've been looking Previously forward to its return. Of the galaxy. So let's get some context here. Now, remember, I'm trying to do things in this Let's Play that people, me, that I'm I guessing people guys, wouldn't do. Try and see what could happen. So we got a bit of backstory on Rocket's backstory. I don't know if this is... Hannon, this is the, his original backstory or not? Uh, it's sweet. I, I do like it. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. And he's got this idea because Quill has found himself this and rather nice device that allows him to go back that in time or change things. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. Yeah, well, guns oh, instead of fists. I Take him to the gun show. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here. Yes. Pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. <laughs> and Quill's got Until it. Then, Lovely. She shall remain entombed across the galaxy. All right. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. So a bit of a mystery being developed here. You're nearly there, Peter. I think this is where we are, right? There's Gamora. Will. There's the title screen <laughs> turning up behind her due to fantastic green screen effect. And we're going back in time, back in time. That's something I did enjoy about the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 movie, that they really are pushing for that nostalgic retro Thanks, 80s, baby. 90s vibe. And this is just poster child of that. That's beautiful. Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, right. Just took me by surprise. Now, I, there is a thing. Choosing nothing is a choice, so... Well, I didn't get I a chance, you. but yeah, sometimes Stop. saying nothing is actually okay. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Okay. Be good. Oh. I know that's not always oh. easy for you. Yeah, I can't promise anything. No dice, Mom. You gotta love me for who I am. Gotta <laughs> love me. I do. Sometimes against my better judgment. That's called being a parent. I'll be back soon. Okay, bye, Mom. Don't die from a terminal brain cancer hey, until the movie hey. starts. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? That yeah. is an unfortunate name, Mr. Pinkle. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, just copy the tape. Just copy the tape. Yeah. Please? Yeah. Will do. I'm a paying customer. You want my Both business? Sides? You do the job. Come Heck back in yeah. about an hour, and it'll be ready. Oh, that'll keep. Hey, Petey. Do I know you? Make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so what if I did? You got some kind of problem with that? You some sort of homophobe? Why? Are you so insecure with your own sexuality that you are trying to hide the fact that you're Fred, gay by it projecting it you onto other people? Oh, <laughs> uh, so he's the one I punched. Daddy, you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Healing, like a wolverine. Give me that. Oh, oh, uh, uh jump. Ha ha! Not today, sir. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. So wait, you know She's that my mom's sick. She's asking for help like some pathetic loser. And you're making She's fun of that. Probably looking for change in the sewers right now. Oh, don't let me make me now, hit you. You wouldn't like me when I hit don't you. Don't make me hit you. Oh, you're threatening me now? Go on, take a swing. I won't even feel it. You gonna cry now? Huh? Mm, what are you gonna do about Mom did say use my words, and I did promise her. But again, we're doing what I think people won't. So we're gonna punch his lights out. Hammer time! 
You break it, you buy it. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Hammer time! Hey. Let's get some spinal damage going on here. Blam! I didn't mean what I said. Blam! I'm sorry. Blam! Peter! Please, please, stop! Never! What did you do? I made you witness me. Peter, answer me. I will say nothing to you, woman. I answer n -n nobody. I am Peter Quill, Esquire. Are you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. Good. We talked about this, Peter. You promised me you wouldn't fight. And look what you did to that poor boy. I know. I was trying to break I, his I spine. You. Don't know how I kept hitting his jaw. <coughs> Mom. Uh. <coughs> oh God. <laughs> I'll call an ambulance. You're so close, Peter. I'm feeling some very Oedipal vibes from this whole thing. I know I shouldn't be, but... It just feels awkward. What the... More than a feeling. I'm home. I'm believing. That you're in love with me. I'm hooked on a feeling. And this is how we met Bigfoot. And then I shaved him down. And made him run rampant through the streets of New York wearing nothing but a mankini. Now where is that Bigfoot? Oh, found him. That Bigfoot looks an awful lot like my love interest. Oh, it's a sneaky Bigfoot. Right, sneak up on that Bigfoot. Sneak, 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 sneak. Uh, what did you just say? Sorry, I didn't catch that. This this temple is really messing with my head again. Uh, what'd you say? Hello, Gamora. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. Come on, what are you doing? You could do better than that. Uh, back off. Back off, Gamora. Seriously. Again, I don't want to be making these choices, Stop but I'm curious to see what happens if I do. Oh, down, down. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you. No, no, thank you. Uh, down, please. Ha! Harry! Ha ha! Ha! What ho! Come at me, child, and I shall take thee to a world of education. All right, button mashing, 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 Perception's just as important as strength and speed. Valid. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. Oh, you will. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over. Every single day. I know you think you want this. But once you've taken a life, there's no going back. Yes, doing anything in life, there's no going back. Again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty soon that's all you'll be. A murderer. Aren't you a murderer after the something. first kill? Now. Oh. Ha! Ha ha! Ha hey! <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Come at me, woman! Come at me! Come at me! Ha! Ha ha! Da 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 da! Hey! That was actually a little impressive. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just a little. I've been rehearsing. Button mash, button mash, button mash, button mash. Hey, better, better, hey, better, 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 hey, better, 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 hey, better, 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 hey, better, 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 Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I think most people would be kind. I'm gonna beat her down. Bam, baby! A 
father. Badass. Ah! Ow! In the shin! Nebula, you have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> You uh, called the Mad Titan for a reason. Let's do it. Yeah, tell her. She only won because she cheated. Yeah. You blindsided me. If you had a blind side, the fault is yours. Yeah. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Cree outpost on the planet of Phalion. Okay. There you will find General Tarval. Okay. He has come into possession of something I require. Okay. Gamora. You will fetch the device for me. Okay. You, Nebula. You will kill the general. Be I, I promise you, I will succeed. But when does she I start getting the implants? Daughter. Seriously, when does she start getting Gamora. the implants? You were always my favorite. But you have become cold, mm. distant. Forcing mm. me to look to Nebula to tighten mm. the slack. Mm. Whether I believe mm. she's capable or not. Mm. Yeah. We will not disappoint you, Father. I don't think these but choices you matter. you already have, Gamora. I could be Otherwise, wrong. Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. It's the ones where oh, you get the bracketed there, responses you that you've got as much time to think about it that I think are the Gamora, ones that really matter. I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Right, so we're gonna fail this mission so she can become an android. Well, cyborg. Bloody Dragon Ball Z kept confusing those terms up for me, and now I'm scarred for life, mentally damaged due to their bad information. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but father, he didn't look happy. <laughs> ha! I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. No. Nebula, come here. We need to rip out your eyes and replace them with robotic ones. But we'll have to do it at least ten feet in the air. Cree outpost on Philion or Philion. Oh yeah, that's definitely what it's called. Philion. I wonder if that's a pun for something. Philion. Oh, I maybe it's got something it. to do with dogs. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Don't screw up. You can't screw this up, Nebula. Don't screw up. If you do, Don't mess I know up. what happens if I do. I'm not going to let father down. All right, the assassin days. Let's just do this. I am seeing a bit of a pattern happening. In the first in the first episode, we sort of got Quill's backstory, but we're getting trickles of it throughout. The second was Rocket. The third is going to be Gamora. I've got a feeling the fourth will be Drax and the fifth will be Groot. Just a gut feeling seeing things because it would be very interesting to see Groot's backstory. Probably not going to be that interesting. I was a tree. I grew in the ground. Then I grew up. And I started walking around. And I met a raccoon. And we did things. Blam! Pow! Gazapo! How did you... Wow, those masks must be really good at sound insulation. Because I am very impressed that he didn't hear that. Ha! Deadly and sexy! Ha! Lamb up! Okay. Ah, uh, alright. Right. No, thank you! Click! Kaboom! Click! Kaboom! Alright. Click! Hiya! I got you, sister. I got you. Back up. Bam, baby. Click. Click. Take the shot. 
There we go. Oh. I Nebula. prevented her from finishing Nebula, her are mission. You are you hurt? Why? Ooh. Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me. Yeah. Uh, Father will be so upset with me. Don't tell daddy. Don't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. He will never know that we both ate all Father. the cookies. Give me the device. Nebula, oh, what are you doing? right. You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Uh -huh. Give it to me. Uh -huh. Now. Right. I'm not asking here. Do it. Mm, again, I think most Nebula, people choose this. Hand it over. We're actually going to say nothing. Because I think the majority of people would say no nothing. Well, rather the minority. Wait, what? But if she died back then, how can she now be alive to tell the story? This is confuzzling! Uh. Oh, she's gone Hulk on me! Green skin and all! Slap! You slapped me! You slapped me first! Ow! Slap fight! I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me! Well, that's not the way to do it! Slap fight! Well, apparently it was! <laughs> Stop! I've got a Stop feeling slapping. so many people chose this, but this is just so much fun! Slap fight! Uh, okay, 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 uh, uncle, uncle! Slap fight! <laughs> don't do that again. What, do this again? Slap fight! I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, was... Next I, we uh, were slap fight! I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? Did I see all the I slap know. fight? Yes. Slap fight! Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. Slap fight! But seeing that... Slap fight! She thought I was being selfish. We're not going to complete Taking the slap fight, are we? she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. Mm, let's put it down. Sure. Maybe it was a mistake to step in like you did. You can't just keep beating yourself up forever. Okay? No, that's my job. Slap fight! No. I have Nebula to do that for me. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy. Yeah. Despite Thanos, despite everything, we had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. Can't change the past. Can't change the past, Gamora. All you can do is prepare to change the future. That's exactly it, Peter. Nebula is who she is because of me. Right. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone a refusal to continue she a slap fight Thanos's daughter who else could she be after I betrayed her I failed her mm, this one I'm worried about you you keep thinking stuff like this it's gonna drive you crazy mm. and we've already got enough crazy on this team yeah this rocket makes up about 50% of it thanks Peter well it makes up about the other 45 and Come the remaining on. five is filtered through the rest. Figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... Crazy. Oh. The theme oh, song. Oh, man. 
It's like magic. I love this song. I love the song. It's like magic. And I don't recall the lyrics because Peter, I. Wait. This place. It seems to be using our memories against Focus us. Focus on theme song and tone. We'll find inside. My mom could be in there. Us here. And I totally oh, well, got okay? this. I can handle whatever happens. I promise. I've heard that before. Yep. Oh, come on. That time I died? That totally doesn't count. Yeah. yeah. But what up? Carefully. Right. Where are we going, lady? Okay. Hi. Bit of an odd place to have a church just in the middle of a Do you forest. This place? Yeah. This is where my mom was brought to in a box. She didn't die here. This is where I saw her last. Okay, that's fair. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Only one way to find out. Yep. Do 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 do. Let's go grave robbing. Wasn't there a, like a run button like Oh, whoa, whoa! Ow! Somebody pumped it up to 11! Ow! We need some of those Cree helmets that insulate sound so we're not going deaf! I can't hear myself think! Shut up! Shut up! Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, hey. Hello? <sighs> All right, what just happened? It was all a hologram. Ah, the conveniently set up hologram at that. All the cues are actually walls. Huh. Well, this is looking impressive. What do we got? Hello? Hello? And who might you be? Oh! <laughs> okay! Oh! Did we find Mantis? Oh my god, we found Mantis! So, so painful. Are you okay? Hi, Mantis! Yes. Now that you are here. Oh, you're adorable! Mom. Definitely not. You. you came for me. Uh, yeah, yes. What are these? Definitely. <laughs> oh, she's cute. Hey, over here. Focus. <sighs> Peter Quill. Yes, yes, I am. You're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. Well, let's do the most obvious thing. Flirt with her in front of my girlfriend. The name's Star Lord, baby. Oh yeah. Well, I see. Star Lord Baby. Star Lord Baby. Wait. <laughs> no, no, it's just. It's yeah, no. Star Lord. No, no, no. It's Star Lord Baby. Legendary outlaw. From this day forward, Star Lord Baby will be known throughout the universe. Work. People will quell in fear of Star Lord Baby. Armies will run in terror of Star Lord Baby. 
people will build statues in honor of the Star Lord, baby. Oh, sorry. I kind of was nice getting caught right. up in my own arrogance. Let me try that again. Probably shouldn't have actually done that anyway. Again, I'm trying. <laughs> it's kind of fun doing what you think that? you shouldn't do. I got to be. It's it's enjoyable chaos. You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Uh, yeah. Heck no. Sorry. Yeah. Not That's happening. Happen. As Magan. Very well then. Sam, she is strong. Huh. Take it. Wow. Not a Didn't fan of boxes. <sighs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. Uh huh. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. Uh, are you going to tell me your name, Mantis? The legends foretold. So brave and handsome. And with perfect hair, too. Oh, yeah. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down in me. a blaze of glory. What's your name? And Take where's time. my mom? Legends. So these, uh legends about me yes what are they they speak I mean, of my penis in any of them i know a few already but uh this one might be new you don't know oh how unexpected the adventures of star lord baby all this time the moment you touched the forge i knew you were the celestial one uh-huh you could free me all so I right the only way i could your memories. So you are my mom. most vivid to you, but you must understand, I had no control over them. Yeah, let's compliment her. I. Oh, yay! <laughs> mm, oh, mm, yeah, mm, uh, you like my abilities. Uh huh. Most people run away from me. Oh right. Me. How could you possibly know how he feels? Empath. I can show you, angry lady. No, no, oh. no. Well, never mind. I'm pretty sure you can tell what she's feeling almost Please, all the time. I mean no harm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch. Yeah, yeah. Do it again. 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 I am Great so pleasure. Peter Quill on this. Suck oh, my this brain. Go well. Suck it good. What you got, baby? Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, 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 yeah, why the heck not? Bit of comedy. Oh. Uh, what emotion was that? <laughs> oh. Do not believe I should say out loud. Sexual. Uh huh. You see, I am an empath. Yep. I can read the emotions of others. Yeah, I know. I saw the trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy too. I already knew that from that. Decide the fate of the Forge. All right. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. <laughs> yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. Who should we try on first? Drax. Drax. Drax, Drax, Drax. I got just the one. Drax. Always Drax. Whenever in doubt, always Drax. Hey Drax, what is I got this? a friend for you. Why are her head tentacles glowing? Cause I gave her some horny thoughts. Filled with remorse and fear. Yeah. How dare you? I am afraid of nothing. Now he is ashamed for his outburst. Mantis <laughs> is an empath, Drax. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion! Uh-huh. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? It means it's her job to guide the Celestial One. You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. Yes, you are, buddy. She knows you always will be. Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused. No. Oh, I can explain. Ah, here we go. All right. Uh. uh. Long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Is that a problem? Remember uh, Thanos going on like. Now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, uh, blah, blah. I'm gonna hold the lip on this one. Magic. 
It's always magic. Yes. That is good enough for me. Her story might be important. Yep. I guess Quill ain't got an opinion. Meh. Yeah. A little option B. A little there option A. Of the celestial one. Right. The chosen one who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. Got it. Celestial one. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark world. <laughs> power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. To choose for the greater good. Oh, it's so perfectly That's... accurate about his arrogance. That's... Describes me pretty perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> no, the, no, that, 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 that's no, that. Peter is the celestial one. Uh huh. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial, what's it? Then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back, but when we tried to use it again on someone else, mm. it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. You know, you would make a really good counselor. Limited right now. Or even a priest for confession. Your life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. Uh, <sighs> I am broke. Well, that really explains that, but. You said right now. Yeah. And does that mean that things might be different later? Yes. You can change everything. All right. Tell me. The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. Okay. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And oh. the true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Damn. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too. If you were so inclined, though I do not know why. I, I think I know why. But it is Peter's decision to make. Let's why make sure we hear I the explanation, the though. Forge? This thing sounds awesome. Yeah, but <clears throat> yeah. Its awesomeness comes with a price. Hi. Life energy cannot be made; it must be transferred. So, so to create a life. To die for the thing to work. Then let's finish right. our drinks and go use this thing. Yes. Really. Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right oh, now. Oh boy. Wants to use this forge to raise her army. Which means we she's going to have to kill an army to get it back. To me. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. Uh -huh. we that is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying. <laughs> do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry. I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. Uh huh. Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for you. Mm. I am Groot. I'm gonna take two against it. He said two for destroying it. And Would I'm the tiebreaker. We can bring back anyone that we lost. Eh. At a cost. A killing. No cost is too high. Eh. Wow. Uh. Okay, this is uh, <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Uh. Heavy on the responsibility, you know. It's. Let me think on it. <laughs> well. Well, one way or another, hmm. this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help. I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? You know, technically, I'm thinking about this mathematically. I'll be if emotionally I died and brought somebody else back, they could live their life, and then at the end of their life, they could bring me back from the moment that I died, and I could just keep wash, rinse, repeating, so we could essentially keep trading lives for all what eternity. Helping? Hmm. That'd be interesting. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, Maybe it may not be so much a complete sacrifice, although it does rely on the basis that the other person gives up their the life shrug. at the end of their life to get me back, so, so much you could loan it. Their emotions are overwhelming me. I'm overthinking this, aren't I? To you for guidance. Help them. Rax. Right. 
let's deal with this in the next episode of the Guardians of the Galaxy, because I think we are halfway through this chapter, and I like to do these in two-parters so they don't get too long. So we're going to leave it here for now. Please share this video if you care to help the channel grow, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Until then, I am Zenvius, and you can enjoy your day. Is that what you think? You want an apology?